Previously on Prayer of the Faithless, Eris party ran to Garon, who made them fight yet another illusionary boss. Mia convinced Amelie to rejoin the party and seek a different path for Vanessa. Unfortunately, Raisin tricked Mia and Amelie into getting captured alongside him at Vergio's borders. Hey look, Trolls see someone ahead! Back here, it looks like an assault in Paladin's armor. We did it, we finally caught up to them. Oh man, I can't believe I'm actually relieved to see a Paladin out here. What are we talking about? That's Vance! He's gonna attack you! He's a Didn't you hear? They, they attack Revenants on sight! Hurry, human's getting away! We're gonna have to fight him? Hey you, Paladin, hold a sec, you're from Honolith, aren't you? What the? How do you know that? Who are you people? Don't you recognize him? You met him before! Don't worry about that, you see a, a blue-haired woman around here? I've been looking for her. What? what, what why? What do you want for, with her? You know her? She's alive, isn't she? Mia's alive. Where is she? Is she okay? Please, sir. Please tell us where she is. And infused? Now hang on a minute. I don't know who you people are, but you can't just... Oh, hell no. I not travel all the way around freaking uh, the freaking world ju uh, just to get jerked around by some pissy cyclops. You're gonna tell me where Mia is, and you're going to do it now. Man, you suck at this negotiation thing. I think you should have left that to Luke. Boy, if you mouth off one more time... Do you say Mia? Is Mia here? Well, you don't look like any knight or villager I've ever seen. Who are you supposed to be? I'm a friend of Mia's. My loyal vessel went with her to negotiate passage of Emperor Daigo. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll see uh, her again. Emperor Daigo, since when was Mia the type to chill with nation leaders? Quiet, Sarah. Get back in the cabin if you know what's good for you. Why do you guys have a ship anyways? Back up. If you aren't going to spill it, then piss off and quit wasting my time. Since you clearly haven't noticed, I'm out of patience for dealing with people like you. Damn you, boy. If we weren't trying to keep a low profile... Sounds like you should just shut up and let her talk, then. Trust me, I can be very loud if I'm in the mood to be, and you're putting me in quite the mood. I see. Even if he, he, if he, if he tries to fight us, then the uh, uh, then the Vergio soldiers will go after him. Now that I think about it, it's been a while since they left to meet with him. They should have come back by now. Oh, oh no! What, why did girls suddenly yell? Danger, they're in danger! They, you mean Mia? Those eyes, you mean. Are you an oracle? No time to talk, they're in danger. We need to go save them. Don't you dare, Rayson brought us all the, this precious time to escape, and we're not gonna... Wait, but if you have prediction powers, who are, are you gonna partner up with one of my party members in order to use them? You might want to partner up with Trill, because she's kind of screwed in Kioma regions. What did you say? Rayson put them all in danger so we could... Should we would have been gone hours ago if we could figure out how this damn engine works. I'll grill you later, but for now we're gonna get Mia back. If you know what's good for you, you aren't gonna try and stop us. Well then, Sarah, was it? Congratulations for volunteering to show us the way. Now let's go. You bet, we've got friends to save. I'll take you right to Virgil Castle. Ironic, she's teaming up with the very revenant she predicted. She's gonna know sooner or later that we're using Soulfire, right? Hey, hurry up and get that engine working. We leave as soon as it's up and running. This is the a very awkward team up. What? She's not teaming up with anyone. We won't be able to use her oracle powers. That sucks, because that would have given us some decent defensive options. Whatever you're going to do, hurry up and do it. We're not waiting for you. Is there a time limit? Oh, by the way, I suppose introductions are in order. My name is Sarah Cadmus, but you may refer, refer to me as Oracle Cadmus. Pleased to meet you, Oracle Cadmus. I'm Luke Frazier. Oh, excellent manners. I see you're a man of dignified elegance. Such a welcome ref refreshment after traveling with such a ragtag group of refugees. Now, may I please know the names of the rest of your group? We should start our quest on good terms with each other. Do you not agree? Name's Aaron. Nice to meet you. Now get moving. We're not here to chat. Oracle Cadmus too long to speak. She'll refer to girl as Cadmus. Cadmus more easy to say. What? How dare you two treat my title like some worthless afterthought? I'll have you know I'm Virgio's only living oracle of her power is still intact. You shall address me with my proper title. In case you didn't pick it up from my talk with the Cyclops, I don't have a lot of patience for this crap. If you don't get a move on and take us to the Virgio castle, the next time I'll address you will be in a friggin' obituary. Eep! You're starting to sound like a bandit. <laughs> this reminds me of when I first met Air. He wasn't much, uh, much one for patience. Don't worry, Sarah. You'll get used to it. You just wait until I get racing. He'll kick your butt across the Empire and back. So long as I get Mia back, you can send whoever you want after me. Now move. What kind of group did I just join up with? The anti-hero group, I guess. Alright, time to do battle. Or we can just go through this little basement. Done, da done. One piping hot secret entrance. You may... All bow down and worship me. How do you all know about this? Or why can't we go in through the front door? You're an oracle, right? 
Uh, well, it's a long story, but then don't borrow. If we gotta go in this way, then that's what we're gonna do. Sneaky. Troll, can you pick up Mia's presence? Even if Troll could recognize Mia's presence, Kiyoma prevents Troll's power. You can't use her powers. I know a Normana like you in our group who can't use her powers. Although it's not quite for the same reason. I'll introduce you when we meet her. That's gonna be an awkward meeting. She might... Uh, uh, would Troll reject her? A Normana that can't use her powers... Nah, it can't be. Oh, this is gonna be an awkward meeting. Why can't I jump over that? Okay, so what's the plan? We move in, find Mia, knock out anyone stupid enough to try and stop us. Simple and efficient. What a brute. Got it, I'll help as best as I can. You- can you- uh, you're- wait, you'll give us our oracle powers. How are you planning to help? You don't look like you can handle yourself in a fight. Hey, I can be loads of help. With my powers as an oracle, I can look into the future and see incoming attacks. Whoa, really? That sounds incredible. No wonder you were able to make it all the way from Hanalef with Mia. Hey, praise me more. Well, anyway, as easy as it is, I won't be able to see my immediate vicinity during a vision. It will require a bodyguard to protect me while I use my powers. Oh, really? We have a good rhythm going with our fighting. I'm not sure I want someone uh, uh, coming in to disrupt that. Troll will be bodyguard, because she's already locked out of her skill set anyway, so might as well. Are you sure? I don't want to get in your guys' way or anything. With this Kiyoma active, Troll cannot use powers. We'll be dead weight otherwise, so Troll will protect Sarah instead. Hey, hey! Hey, drop the dead weight crap, alright? I thought we talked about this already. But if you're sure you want to do this, then I won't stop you. Just don't ever do it, okay? Thanks, Eric. Troll will not disappoint. Don't get in our way. So now Trill has... Uh, uh, shares a space with Sarah. That means we get Oracle. Okay, good. That, that hel helps our defenses somewhat. Oh, man. There's a weapon here, and... Oh, wait, armor. River Brand. I see. That'll give me Water Trance. What does Water do again? Oh, wait, I can't look at it right now because of the current situation. Plus, Forest is better in general, I feel like, for the vast majority of enemies. I'm not sure. Uh, how do I sneak past this guy? I don't want to fight everyone. Okay, good. They're not super fast. What is this place? Why are there toys? Okay, I have to kill that guy if I want to get the treasures. Please move. I guess he's not moving. Dang it. I know you're guarding shit. Okay, now two people are under vision of assault. I'm the only one allowed to heal. Die, medic. Oh, she resisted it. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Now, with my combo, Wailing Havoc. Mend. Okay. No more visions. Time to do this for real. Hmm. 
Wailing Havoc again. Oh, he resists it. Well, that's a bummer. Shit, he can use items. There, switch to slash. Running riot. Primal fear. Wish we had a shop right now. Okay, this is... I'm not sure which one this is. Random elemental damage to free random foes. It appears to be a spear type? I don't know. It's hard to tell which ones are associated with. Oh, okay. We had no choice but to fight that. That was the only way, huh? Okay, there's still a guy back there chasing me. Give me that sword. I'm gonna fang all of you. Wrestling gloves. Hmm. Interesting. Reap stamina. That could be a useful one. Not so not a whole lot of supplies here though. Huh. Excuse me? Oracle staff, but only you can equip it. Resonant shield. Yes, that could give us an edge if we know the enemy has magic. Oh, confession move. This reminds me of the good old days when I would take confessions of poor sinners. If anyone has any sins, feel free to step into the other side and confess to me. I'm an oracle, after all, so I have a super pure and forgiving heart. Too bad, then. I got nothing to confess. What? But that's not possible. Humans are naturally sinful creatures. Surely you would have done something that you weren't proud of at least once in your life. If I have something to apologize for, I'll apologize to the person I've wronged. We'll give us forgiveness if it comes from someone who doesn't even know the situation. You are an insolent fool. I lift the burns on weary hearts. Only those with a pure and loving heart can do so. Uh, anyway, I wouldn't expect someone your age to take such a huge responsibility as this. What made you decide to become an oracle? Well, I did, didn't. I was born with the power of prophecy, so I had no real choice in the matter. My mother was an oracle, and her mother as well. All oracles in Virgio are women, and the power is passed down through bloodline. As soon as we are able to walk, we are taken to the cloister to begin training. So I, well, here I was taken far earlier than usual. My father left my family before I, when, before I was born, so I never got to meet him. My mother died not long after I was born. I heard it was deaf from grief. Oh no, that's terrible. How could a father abandon his family like that? I'm so, so sorry. What if it turns out... What if it turns out that... <laughs> Rayson is her father and he's secretly trying to atone for his past abandonment. A deadbeat dad, huh? So he must have grown up alone. No, I had plenty of friends in the cloister, and the senior oracles were all very kind to me. They brought me many gifts and stuff so I wouldn't feel too lonely. I was taught at a very young age to forgive people for their sins, so naturally I've been trying to forgive my father for what he did, but... If my truly died from heartbreak, then that means she was killed by my father. I've been trying, but I can't, just can't forgive him. I think it's fine to hate him for what he's done. My dad wasn't around either, and it was thanks to him that I grew up an outcast from the rest of Asala. I don't really care about the reason why he did what he did. I'll never forgive him. No, I don't want to be that way. I'm an oracle, and I have to be uh, have a pure and loving heart if I'm going to carry out my duties. 
But it's good to know that what I'm feeling right now isn't unusual. If anything, it makes me want to work harder to forgive him. So, so thanks, Sarah. Thanks for showing me that I'm not a terrible person. Uh, you're welcome, I guess. Wait, did I just confess to a peasant like you? Pure and loving heart, she says. No! I'm not fighting all you guys. Ugh. Ah! Ah! Oh, that bastard's guarding a shield. Fine. Take you on. Ronin Ninja. Hmm. I know you're weak to slash. Oh, hell no. Nah. I know you're you're weak to sword. I think they're weak to sword, so let's invoke narrow. Hmm. All foes, huh? Oh no, my defenses! Oh my goodness. There. First aid side kit? What the heck is that? It's for Luke. Hmm. Gotta avoid the generals if possible. Gah! Oh, come on! Why do they always have these guys guarding a fucking item? No! It's locked prison key needed, okay? Okay, seems like something big's going down here. Damn it, there's no save point! What the heck is with this design? Please give me a save point soon. Yes, and the shopkeeper. I very ne much needed that. Uh, I was afraid I was going to have to go through most of the dungeon without uh, uh, any sort of help. Here's the front room. Mia should be waiting here? Who are you people? What do you want from me? How strange. Maybe I'm blind, but all I see is a sorry blob of a man melting away on this throne. Sarah, you didn't lie to me, did you? 
Lie, how dare you accuse me of such a, an impure act? I despise lying. I wouldn't lie to you or anyone. Man on the throne, Emperor Daigo? I think so. He sure looks calm for seeing a bunch of intruders in his throne room. Yo, Emperor, really great to meet you. Man, I never thought I'd get to travel the world and meet foreign leaders. And they said becoming a world-ending revenant was a terrible thing. So they were telling the truth after all. It appears there was no need for me to resort to such drastic measures. I was told you would be coming, though I was not expecting you to make it past our defenses. I bid you welcome, Revenant and Demon Oracle. Demon Oracle? Strange name. Trollfight girl's name was Sarah, not Demon Oracle. Yeah, she is the Oracle who spoke the last prophecy. The first prophecy uttered by any Oracle in the last 16 years. It warns us of a monstrous Revenant that will walk the earth and bring about humanity's downfall. But is that Revenant supposed to be Er or Goron or Bo? And now here you stand before me. It seems no matter how hard we try it, we cannot escape this twisted fate bestowed upon us by God. No king. Sir, is this guy for real? I thought the oracle that spoke the last prophecy was put to death. How can you be still be alive? I don't want to say it. When oracle receives a prophecy, it's God himself speaking to us. Oracles do not control what, when they receive a prophecy, nor can they stop themselves from uttering it. Yet as soon as I finished, nearly all of Virgil fell into a panic. They believed me to be some sort of demon in human form, and called for my death. I know, dear girl. God help me, I know. I cannot tell you how sorry I am that the events turned out the way they did. I love all citizens of the, this great emperor as I do my own family. I have dedicated my life to ensuring that everyone lives a happy life. Here comes the utilitarian stuff again. But but you are the one who ordered my death. How can you say something like that? Because child, it is not my place to fight the people that I serve. As emperor, I represent the will of the people. In order to maintain order, I must adhere to that will, even if they demand such unwarranted cruelty. What, you're really gonna sit there and tell me that using an innocent person as a scapegoat for the people's fears is really adhering to their will? You've been to the port town, yes? Tell me, Revenant, what were the people there like? What what people? The place was practically a ghost town. A mere year ago, that town was a thriving port, bustling with music, traders, and freshly baked cakes. However, when the last prophecy was uttered, a plague washed over the city like a wave. A plague known as Fear, Fear of the Revenant, and of the demon oracle who spoke it. Once Fear sells in, it begins to fester until it mutates in a panic. So everyone's uh, 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 quarantining themselves? When Fear turns in a panic, then all hope is truly lost. No matter the cost, I cannot allow that to happen. They all move into the city or something? Fear had already settled into the citizens. However, there was one way to prevent the fear from becoming panic. Eliminate the source of everyone's worries. If I did not, then panic would have overtaken this beautiful empire, and Virgil would eat itself from the inside out. This is the price a leader must pay to maintain order. A leader must submit himself to the will of the people, no matter what they may say. Troll in their stance in a way. Clan always thinks of what is best for clan, not only for individual... Not for individuals. There was no personal desires, only orders, and happiness came from following orders. Leader always said things clan agreed with. If leader tried to say something clan did not like, clan simply ignore leader. Troll sees now that there was no real clan leader. Clan lived by will of clan, nothing more. Then you understand what must come next. What? He can control six weapons. One of each element. He's like an. He's like. Now that the demon oracle has returned from the dead and brought the very revenant she prophesied would end our world, the people are once again falling into panic. I wish there wasn't any other way, but sadly, nothing short of bloodshed would be enough to quell the unrest now. It will show your heads to the people to restore peace to this great empire. No, it doesn't have to be this way, Emperor. We came here to save Mia and the others. If you just tell us where they are, we will leave peacefully, I swear. It pains my heart I believe your words, young man. However, the people have spoken. If they demand blood, then I shall answer their demands. So in the end, you're just like all the other spineless cowards looking for an easy way out. Asal and Virgio, the last two kingdoms outside the fog. Neither of them are willing to listen to reason. As long as I'm alive, they will always try to hunt me down. If there's no, really no place for me in this world, then there's only one thing left to, for me to do. I'll carve out a home from the carcass of this rotten world. A home just for me and my friends. So the will of the people has spoken, huh? Well, here's my answer. How am I supposed to deal with this shit? He can literally summon... swords. Ignis, Terra, oh no. It's, this is real, this guy's real, I'm really fighting I from V Reigns, aren't I? This is horrible. Is he gonna use spells or physicals? I can't even tell. Vision of Assault. Damn, he didn't protect everyone. 
How am I supposed to deal with these numbers? Holy shit. Well, that takes care of one, but he's melting my armor, bastard. He's, he went for the, whoever... Uh, soul infusion, he can just summon them back every turn? He's got so much health, too. Hate aura. No. At least he only brought one back this time. <sighs> this guy's got so much health. Do I have any poison type abilities? Or bleed or, or something useful? I think I have a throwing knife, but that's it. That's all I have that could possibly help me at this point. Hmm. Only con sh sharpened dagger or concussion flash will help much here, will it? Bleed medium. It will also test if they are weak to pierce or not. Yes, I bled him. But he's neutral to pierce and ice. Aha. Two at once? Damn! I didn't even make that much progress in your hit point bar. How dare you summon that many at once? You freak. Well, I... The sword. The sword has the ability to do AoE attacks. Demon's Gale. But one of them is a Ray Wind type, so that won't do me any good. Blood Storm! Damn it, I wish I had more elements up my sleeve. I don't have. I, Frigid Heart is seriously my only element? That's not gonna help much. Against a freaking water sword. This is terrible. Okay, I need to do- I need Eric to use his AoE again. No matter how many of these guys he summons back. I'll train your soul fire. Okay. Invoke Nero. Blood Storm. Panic Aura. Oh my goodness, this guy just won't stop summoning. Hmm. But he's out of stamina, so he has to spend a turn charging up. Because he inflicts emotional ailments on himself, that actually puts him on the 
on a in a slight disadvantage. Awaken narrow. Bloodstorm once more. M what? This. Oh my goodness. At least try to weaken you so that the future turns will be worse for you. Trace ahead of time. My stats are so weakened now. Holy shit. Okay, I think my SP went back to normal. Okay, now... Hmm. Awaken Narrow. Actually, better use Awaken and then Focus if you want to make the most of your SP, isn't it? That's what I noticed. Like this. Joy! All his stats will be up, but he still. But as long as I drain his SP, I he should not have much of a chance against me. We can, pr ha we can maintain our advantage. Okay. Blood storm. And while you're buffed up, draw your weapon. Let's see. What's your most offensive weapon? Let's use Shredder. You made a big mistake by giving Trill joy. No material, sadly. Would have been nice if he gave me one of his fancy swords. So this is the power of the Revenant. I need to thank you, Daigo. Before I was focused on fighting Mia and ignoring everything else, you've gotten me to open my eyes to the world around me. Now the pieces are coming together, and I see the world for what it really is, and the people for the spineless hypocrites they are. Perhaps you're right. Tell me, Revenant, what do you think the fog is? What truly causes it? I often think about our upcoming doom, and can't help but wonder if there was anything we could have done to prevent this. If I am the will of the people of Virgio, do you think the fog could be the will of the world itself, the will of God? Maybe humanity has committed too many sins, and the fog is just the world's way of cleansing itself. Maybe humanity's time has come to an end, and the mana are the next inhabitants of this world. Their wills are one of peace and happiness, far better than the destructive and cowardly wills of humanity. True, Troll was a peace and happy of clan. Before air came, Troll not want anything else. But Troll also did not think for herself. Troll only followed orders from clan. Troll not allowed to think different from clan. Without clan, Troll had to learn to think for herself. Air would not give Troll orders. Air nearly abandoned Troll because of it. Trill is learning more about Trill every day. Trill no want to go back to how things were. Trill want own will, not will of people. Trill no longer think Mana is right, but now Trill is unsure of what is right. Trill. Daigo, as long as you're alive, you'll continue to answer the people's call from my head, won't you? That's correct. 
Then before you die, you're going to tell me where Mia is. If you don't, I'll rip this entire castle apart until I find her. Even though your heart is soaked with hatred for humanity, you still keep your loyalty to your friends. Such an admirable trait for a human to have, let alone a revenant. You have shown me more humanity than most humans I've known. I'm not so sure I should be taking that as a compliment, but whatever. Your friends are in a dungeon, just one level below here. Go, Revenant. So long as your will remains to your friends, you have my blessing. <laughs> following your footsteps. Uh, following your dad's footsteps, eh? Emperor Daigo, he's dead. What's gonna happen to Virgo now? Is anyone lying for su succession? No, the Emperor had no children. Once word gets out that re the Revenant and de the Demon Oracle murdered the Emperor, all Virgo will fall into panic. Then pick the next best person to lead. That is not hard. This is not hard. What happens to Virgio is none of my concern. I'm here for Mia and no one else. Time to go to the dungeons. Prison key. Okay, now they say I have to go straight to the dungeon without doing... Uh, without tr uh, trying to explore older areas. I didn't use up any items. Let's just go. I don't know what's the fail exact fail condition. Yes, I... I think I made it in record time. Just head straight for her, ignore everything else. Wait, which room is she in? She's probably in the very back room, right? The most secure, locked down room in the world. I saved, so I should be fine, right? Interrogation chamber? Okay. I don't hear anything on the other side. There must not be anyone in here. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to know which door it is? I can hear something, someone grunting on the other side. Holy hell, that's really Amelie, isn't it? What in the world is she doing here? W what about Mia? She's in bad shape, but she's still briefing. She must have passed out from all the torture. This Amelie is the one Era talked about before, right? The very same. She's the one who tried to kill me on the night I became a revenant. Strange outfit. Lots of metal. How can Amelie move under all that? Is this really the place to talk about fashion? Come on, let's go. Uh, get, keep looking for Mia. Come on, Er, she's clearly in trouble just like Mia and Race are. We can't just leave her behind, can we? I'm here for Mia and Mia only. If you guys want to grab Amelie, be my guest. I can handle Mia just fine on my own. Chill, help me undo these ropes, won't, will you? I can't carry her by myself. W was I supposed to go that one first? There's someone grunting in there. Oh my gosh, Rayson! So this is the guy you're trying to find. Seriously, I can't tell which room is which. What if I failed the condition because I couldn't find Mia first? What happened to you? Are you okay? Are you hurt? No, it's said to go straight to the prison. Technically, we're in a prison now, so I must have succeeded because I didn't go into any other areas. Sarah, oh hell, what in the world are you doing here? That's my question, you idiot. I thought you were going to meet with Emperor Daigo. How'd you end up here? Damn it, Vance, I thought we had a deal. Vance, I thought I heard him say something about a deal with you, but I didn't think much of it until now. Uh, and just who are, are y'all supposed to be? Is Virgil recruiting young ins in Mana now? What kind of loopy land have I entered? What are you talking about? I'm the only one here. Did they expect me to go to Raisin first? I think I scrubbed the order of cutscenes. Seriously, rewrite the cutscene so it accounts for any order. You know of a blue haired girl named Mia? I heard she was taken here, but I can't find her. Where, you're supposed to be your friend or something? You don't look the type she'd hang out around with. I'm a really impatient friend who's tired of getting the runaround. It didn't end well for the last couple of guys who jerked me around, so I suggest you start talking. Sarah, you trust these people? They kept me safe when we were looking for you. The black-haired one says he's me as friend. I think we can trust them. Fine, that's good enough for me. Guess there's no help in the situation right now. Unfortunately, I don't know. They don't t think to tell someone like me tr 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 something trivial like that. She's useless. Hey, okay, Rayson, let's get out of here. I know Arrow will get me out of here, too. Is the party gonna get split up again? I don't even know which one she's in. She has to be in the last one, then, right? Ah, wait, now you're here? Oh, I see, I had I had no choice but to talk to the other two first. But they expected me to talk to Rayson first, didn't they? Wait, is that... Mia! Mia, can you hear me? Say something. It's me, Air. Error. You're alive. I can't believe it. It's really you. Hang on. I'll get you out. Ha ha ha. 
I must be hallucinating, or maybe I'm dead. There's no way that's really you. Come on, Mia, get a hold of yourself. It's me, Eric. Can't you see me? See? I can barely see anything. It's so dark. I can't think. Damn it, if I had known Daigo did this to you, I would have made him suffer a hell lot more before finding you. But it's okay now. I'm here. I'm gonna get you out. Out. Mia! Mia! She's still briefing. Guess I'll have to carry her. Hang on, Mia. I'll get you out of here. It's more in character for him to rush to Mia as soon as he can. That's why I rushed her to the very last room, because I assume that the prisoners are there. I hope... Uh, but I'm sure... They say not to explore any other areas when trying to go for, uh, look for Mia. Ugh, what, where am I? Rise and shine, princess. Welcome back to the land of the living. You look good, all things considered. This is the Odyssey, a brand spanking new ship swiped by the villagers right out of the jaws of Urgio. Let your breath out, kid. There's no danger here. I guess I can't really blame you for that look. I thought our paths had finally split too. Yet here we are. Coincidence? Or maybe it's fate. Hey, fate. Sounds really corny when I say it out loud, but hey, how else can you explain that amazing rescue? It's like you got your own personal Dark Knight or something. Dark Knight? What are you talking about? Can't remember, huh? Apparently some guy in black armor sort of the palace looking for you. More like red and black armor. I was watching him fight on our way out. Then ain't a guy want to piss off if I could avoid it. Your stats are pretty high too, you know. I remember a voice. A voice calling my name, and then... I don't know. My mind's all hazy. I can't remember much outside of the pain. Well, this guy was hellbound rescuing you, so, so much that he even dragged Sarah into that mess. Yet somehow, we all made it out of that palace alive. We all did, so Amelie's okay? Yep, Amelie, Sarah, Vance, Parker, everyone made it through okay. I know it ain't much coming from me, but what else can you call that but fate? Okay, I think I got the resolve point, but there's no real indicator saying where you passed or failed, like with the previous one, where they would actually tell you if you failed. If you're able to walk, you may want to go out and talk to the guy. He's been yelling at everyone to get, try, uh, trying to get inside. How advanced in holding him off for now, but it's only a matter of time before someone gives. Who in the world could it possibly be? Okay, apparently this is another resolve point for Mia. Finding a way to talk to Air? Bicon? Huh. Emperor Daigo's blade? What? I guess he must have looted, looted it from Emperor Daigo when we weren't looking. Hmm, very... looks very powerful. Hmm. Add bleed to a basic attack. Iron scabbard. Hmm, that could mean double bleed chance, couldn't it? Yeah, so I think like, 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 like that combo. Yeah, I know. We gotta talk about what happened back there. I'm sorry I ain't gonna cut it, but I gotta at least explain myself. Go meet your savior for now. Once things chill out, give me a holler. Uh, where is my savior? Helen and Vance has been meddling out for a while now. Maybe he's finally learning some humanity after having command taken from him. I'm sorry, but please leave me alone. Mia, you'll bring us home, right? You'll keep your promise to us, right? Right? We haven't told them the truth. Yeah, that's right. Panic. Just like the Emperor said. If these guys learn the truth about Vanessa, they're gonna panic. And we won't be able to uh, find any semblance of peace. Now we're thieves, sneaking through another town to steal our ship. What have we become? I want to go home. I can't deal with this anymore. I can't remember the last time I had any good sleep. It feels like my entire life is just a blur. I hope you know what you're doing, Mia. The people have put their trust in you, and they're getting impatient. I got nothing to say to you, Mia. Yeah, they're losing their trust. This is bad. Actually, trying to climb a ladder hurts too much. I guess I'm in worse shape than I thought. That's how you lock me out of certain areas, huh? You son of a... Let me through before I start knocking heads together. Boy, I wouldn't try anything if I were you. We don't need to worry about keeping cover anymore, so make a move if you want to throw down some of Asala's finest. Asala's finest? Huh, all I see are a bunch of limp zombies about to fall apart. Think, do you think a hundred of you can stop me? I have AoE attacks now, even if they take too long to set up. Come on, Arrow, don't make a scene here. Fighting on this ship is a really bad idea. Because who's going to pilot it? 
The missile still better step aside before he gets thrown aside. If he keeps me from seeing Mia, I'm gonna... Error? Mia! Error, you're, you're real, aren't you? How's this? Is this real enough for you? This is your life. I can't believe it. I... What's wrong? Too stunned by my amazing appearance to speak? Error! Error! All the way around the world and through the fog itself, and you're still ready to cry at the drop of a hat. It's good to see you again, Mia. Been far too long. I thought you were dead. I'm only said you died in the solo during the Hellspawn attack. Yeah, funny story about that. You wouldn't believe all the crap I went, had to go through to get here. So she was lying to me. You don't sound too surprised to hear that. Yes, well, you wouldn't believe all the stuff I had to go through to get here either. I can take a few guesses. Get away from him, Mia! Heh, <laughs> not the best way to treat those who saved you, you know. How have you been, partner? What what's going on? Do not let this creature deceive you, Mia. This is not Air Wilder, but a Revenant. What? And that that make it twice I've pulled your ass out of the fire, and this is the thanks I get? Then again, I shouldn't be too surprised. The last time I saved you, I saved you ended up with you trying to kill me too. I guess the more things change, the more they say the same. Kill? Hey, what are you talking about? I... What, tongue-tied? Come on, why don't you tell her what really happened that night in the sala? Or maybe you just want to skip to right to round two. I'm game for whatever. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Stop it, both of you. Please tell me what's going on here. I'm about to... Ah! Mia! Oh no, her injuries are far, were far more, far more serious than they looked before. How in the world was she even able to walk? Come on, Mia, stay with me. I'll carry you back inside. Your presence here is no longer needed. Leave this room at once to give Mia time to rest. The only way you're getting me out of here is by dragging my cold carcass through the door, and I'd love to see you try. Both of you, please stop. Amelie, I need to speak with Air alone. Please give us some space. But Mia, he... I'm pretty sure she could win one Air. Now, Amelie, that's an order. I shall wait outside the room, if you need anything. Wow, she actually left. I heard a few things while I was on board, but I couldn't actually believe it. I guess it's true, though. You really are the one calling the shots here. Like I said, I've gone through my own set of trials during our time apart. That goes for Amelie, too. Please go easy on her, Air. She suffered more than you think. Oomph, we'll just see about that. What she said earlier about you being a revenant, was that true? Alright, I'll tell you what really happened that night in the Sala. Since I couldn't find you in Honolith, I knew you were alive, so I put all this revenant crap to the side and focused only on fighting you. And now here you are. It almost feels like a dream. Are you afraid of me? Fear of the revenant, the vanguard of ruin. The last prophecy, a prophecy that foretells the end of the world by the hands of the revenant. And that revenant is now standing right in front of me. But you saved me from Virgil Castle, didn't you? Now that I hear your voice again, there's no mistaking it. You carried me out of that torture chamber. You saved me, just as late as you saved Amelie. Revenant or no, the man standing here is now the same one I knew so long ago. Mia! Let's just say that revenants are mindless killing machines, lash lashing out in rabid fury until the day they are put down. Well, you've already proven one part of that legend wrong. I bet there are some other faults as well. You mean... That's right, I'll do whatever I can to find a way to turn you back into human again. You have no idea how long I've waited to hear someone say that. Thank you, M Mia. How are you going to find out how to do that? I'm pretty sure Garant's the only one who could pull it off, but I'm not, I don't think he'd be willing to try. Good, well, and for now, I need to get a handle on our situation. I'm going to look around the ship. Air, will you come with me? What, can you walk? Just barely. My whole body hurts, but I can't just lay here all day. There are people depending on me. Yeah, I got the gist of it from listening to the people here. I'd like to hear a full story from you, though. And you certainly will, but there will be time to catch up later. I need to let everyone know we're all okay, and that you can be trusted. Can you please help me up? Yeah, sure. Here, put your arm around my shoulder. We need to call a meeting, so let's get everyone we can. These two in the same party, but look at that level gap. So Mia has more uh, uh, more health because she has life ring. No, same health, actually. Still higher skill and psyche, of course. Her closest friend or the world, she can no longer save Bo. That's right, his, uh, his very presence will result in more fog.
Yeah, I had a feeling your friendship wouldn't last. The resolve points made it sound like they would each go their own separate ways. The whole- uh, the guide itself, that is. What, not gonna attack me this time? Mia, I knew you would hate me once you learned the truth. No, Amelie, I, I don't hate you, but I... We're meeting in the conference room on the other side of this floor. Please wait for us to get her there. Now let's go, Eric. If we keep talking, I may say something I'll regret. I can see your father in you. Now that I see you again, there's no mistake. You have inherited his iron gaze. Amelie, this isn't, isn't the time. Wait, wait, hold on a sec. So you knew him? I did. He, I was responsible for his death. I knew there was something different about you. There's no way you would have forced me into the nights with just that flimsy, selfless excuse. Tell me something. What am I to you? Just some pet project to remind you of him? Is that why you wanted me all for yourself? Is that why you drafted me into the nights in the first place? Do you not have questions about your father? Him? I never even saw that man's face, but it's because of him that my entire goddamn life was in the gutter. That man can go to hell. This isn't about him, Amelie. This is about you. Everyone who ever looked at me only saw him. Everyone just decided it would be exactly like him before I even learned to speak. Spill it, Amelie. Are you the same way? Is that why you drafted me? Or did some anything about our short partnership mean something to you? Both. Recent events have crumbled away the beliefs I once held dear. After thinking about it, I realized that all my beliefs were planned in me by those I trusted, not out of my own feelings. I can no longer follow Asala's, no, Vanessa's way of thinking, nor am I ready to accept that you were in the right. I deserve no forgiveness for what I have done to you. However, I must ask that you withhold your wrath until I can find answers of my own. My first step on this journey is to know the truth, untainted by those who walk the path I once shared. Once I find convictions that I can truly call my own, then I will face you, the whole you, not merely the revenant side of you. Everyone, I think that's enough. Please don't escalate this any further. Come on, Eric. Let's go, just go for now, okay? Don't think for a second this is over, partner. One way or another, I'm going to make you talk. I know. I refuse to obscure the truth any longer. When we get everyone together, I promise to tell you everything you want to hear. So Mia is leader of this clan. Clan? Well, I guess that's how it must look to you. Mia's clan think for themselves, or is Mia slave to this wolf, the people? Huh? I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're trying to get at. Yeah, Trill's still learning her language. Work with her a little. Sounds like you're still hung up on what Daigo said. Yes, Daigo looks sad. Trill thinks Daigo was really sad to meet us. Wait, you met with Emperor Daigo? Uh, yeah, long story. I'll explain it all later. Daigo not have same will as people. Daigo not follow his own heart, but heart of people. I don't know what went on between you all, but it doesn't. It sounds like you're saying Emperor Daigo didn't share the same fears as, as the people of Virgio did. Daigo wanted peace, not violence. You know, I think you're right. He admitted to issuing orders that he himself didn't really believe in. Does Mia do this too? Does Mia not follow own heart? Um, Ever said Troll is value alone. That made Troll happy, but also scared. What is this will of people? Do people value for away own wills? Uh, I, um, I don't think I'm qualified to talk about human nature. Huh. Why not? Mia is human, yes? Hey Mia, it's been a while, huh? Oh, Luke, I remember you. You did a good job giving up us a slip back in Hanalef. Heh, <laughs> I was pretty good, wasn't I? No kidding, you were a real pain back then. Oh, you're just mad you couldn't catch me. So I guess you were traveling with error, huh? Yep. Error needed a quick shortcut through the woodland hills to get to you. And I wanted to get away from Asala. It all worked out for the best. Because of how you were kidnapped from Lavengard. Wait, what? How did you... We came across the town on our way to Virgio. After exploring it, we found a document in the inner temple with your name listed. Then you know why I can't go back to Asala. They're nothing but a bunch of monsters who torture people and force them to become living weapons. I never wanted to be an infused, but the people Vanessa sent didn't give me any choice. There were far too, uh, uh, too few volunteers in the solace, so I had to get people from out somewhere. Why didn't you ever tell me? If I told you, who knows what, what you would have done? Stop looking for Mia and suddenly fight all of Asala? You're already in delica a delicate enough position as a revenant, and I wanted to get away from Asala. Telling you this had too many ways to go wrong. But now there are so many people, maybe... Look, why don't we talk about this in the war room upstairs? We're all meeting there anyway. Vance. 
You know, I never was a religious man, but right now I'm starting to feel like someone smiled on us. What do you mean? I just finished an inspection of the ship to see what we're carrying. The storage area has led to near bursting point with supplies for a long journey. How awfully convenient. But still, you have to preserve all this. How are you, These foods are easily preserved, right? I hope they are, because... Because having a lot of food is not going to help if all of it expires before you can eat it all. Really? Food, blankets, clothes, water, you name it. We probably got it. Far more than normal for a crew of this size. Where are you going to... But even then, even if these things are all, are all preservable, they'll eventually run out. You'll have to become pirates if you want to live. And you already got an eye patch, so I guess you'd already be fitting for a pirate. If we ration everything out properly, I wager we can stay alive on this ship for years. Years? How much canned food on this ship is there? Holy moly. Is that really how uh, is that really how many supplies they typically carry on a ship enough to uh, to keep the crew alive for a year in case things go wrong holy hell that's awesome I get, in case I get stranded out at sea I can't believe it everyone will be able to eat tonight how many weeks has it been since we could say that but what's that's what concerns me there's no way the ship was just meant as a supply vessel us all had no word of this I can promise you that what you think they were trying to uh, find a way to flee from the fog in the navigation room, I came across this. A map? Take a look at this part here, circle in, circle in red ink. Well, that's right in the middle of the ocean! This is no scouting vessel. Virgil was planning on sending a full group of people to this location. They knew something was here, something worth shipping at least the Emperor himself. No kidding. We have to get back to Asala, but once we do, I think this place is worth checking out. Per uh, is this a source of the miasma, or perhaps a, a, a paradise away from miasma? But there's no way we could let Eric go there, because then he'd create more fog. We'd have to have air just stay stay in the fog region for the rest of his life, huh? I have to say, you're nothing like what I thought you'd be. A revenant with a working mind, even I couldn't have predicted that. I've been getting that a lot lately. It's almost as if people are finally learning to use their eyes. Mia, can I ask you something? If the refugee suddenly demanded you do something you're not okay with, would you do it? I'm um, sorry, I don't, I don't quite understand this question. What they, could they possibly ask of me? Well, it's just that the things Emperor Daigo said were... You know what? Forget it. You're too kind-hearted to let yourself be pushed into something gruesome like that. To abandon error. Error, do you know what she's talking about? I'll tell you when we all get together. It's something everyone should hear anyway. Speaking of... Oh, right. We're meeting in the large room at the top of the ship. Can you go wait for us there? Sure. I understand how it feels to be hated by people around you, but Revenant or no, you went too far. Hey, I ain't sure what's the biggest shocker. A, a, a bigger shocker. The fact that you're talking to me or the fact that you don't have a sword in your hands. If it's an apology you want, then keep on walking. I ain't sorry for what I did. I'd make the same choice all over again if I could. So it was really that important to you, huh? Important enough to turn us into Virgil without a moment's hesitation? More than that, if it meant she'd go free, I'd have you, me, and this entire ship's crew swinging in the gallows in a heartbeat. You, 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 uh, are you sure you're, is, could he really be her father? This seems way too far for someone who's just devoted to an oracle. If it were the other way around, if it meant you could keep your friend here alive and it meant sacrificing everyone in the village, would you do the same? I... How about Mr. Dark Knight here? Trekking around the world ain't something you do for casual acquaintance. Will, will you do anything to, be, to keep your precious princess safe? Wouldn't, it, wouldn't you be willing to throw yourself to the wolves? Not a chance. I swear to protect Mia from anyone that gets in our way. No matter who they were, I take them all on. I can't do that if I'm dead. The noble sacrifice crap people love to spew out makes me sick. I tried to do that once. Once. Never again. Mia me, uh, me and I will both live. I'll do whatever it takes to ensure we stay that way. Air. Error. Ah, oh, so this is error. What? So, uh, do, how do you know about me? Look, I ain't the lecturing type when it comes to strangers, but you might want to consider uh, cutting your pop a little slack. Love for his child will make a man do crazy things. So you really are her Sarah's father. I've been racking my brain on whether or not to say it, but Mia deserves to know. I knew Sarah was more than just a client to you. Does she know? Nope, and I don't plan on telling her either. As far as she's concerned, her pop was a deadbeat drunk who ditched her before she was even born. And she was right. I was young, rash, and very, very foolish. 
I want an adventure, not a family. But a round of drinks and that beautiful woman I've never, I've never seen before later? Well... Yeah, yep, I can feel those judgmental stares. Can't say I haven't earned them. When she told me she was pregnant, I didn't think twice before spinning on my heel in Bolton. No questions, no hesitation, no nothing. There was no way I was going to be a pop. I wasn't done living yet. So I wandered the world as a mercenary for years. Finally, I had the adventures I was craving. Yet something was missing. Nothing even came close to the fun I had with that woman. As the years went by, that emptiness grew and grew until I couldn't take it anymore. I took a job that brought me back to Virgio. Out of curiosity, I started asking about her. That's when I ran to Sarah. And as soon as I saw her face, I knew exactly who she was. What about her mother? Dead. I found a doctor that delivered Sarah and asked her about her mother. She told me there were... He told me there were complications during birth. He could only save one of them. Apparently, she begged the doctor to save Sarah. As long as Sarah lived, that's all that mattered. After hearing that story, I knew what I had to do. No one knew the name of the drunken scumbag that got the woman pregnant. So all it took was a few favors called in, a bunch of ho hoop jumping, and landed the position of one of Sarah's personal retainers. I ain't looking for sympathy or compassion. All I wanted is to do right by my daughter. It's all I got left now. What if she was overhearing this conversation? If we had spoken to her last, she would have heard this, wouldn't she? We're all gonna die soon next to this damn fog. Sarah will never get to live her entire life. I know I don't deserve this, but I aim to make the few years she has left as happy as I possibly can. Will you at least give a foolish old man that? Based on the bits of information gleam, gleaned from listening to everyone, I think I have an idea of where our situation is now. In short, we're all stuck adrift the Odyssey after Air's group saved us from Virgio Castle. I still can't believe Virgio would do something like that just to get Air. Sure, he may be a... Uh... Maybe what? Spit out, girl. Actually, that's precisely why I call this meeting. Air has vital information pertaining to the last prophecy, and his current state. I don't like where this is going. Air's group in turn also needs to know what we've been, been through in that time. An exchange of information is necessary to keep from, from flailing around blindly. Air, we should start with you. Please recount the, the events that brought you to us. Damn, Mia, I feel like I'm about to be interrogated. You actually sounded like a bona fide cap commander just now. Now that's an origin story I want to hear. You both clearly have tales to share, I agree. Let's spend the rest of the day listening to each other's stories. Once we've all been brought to speed, we will decide where to go from here. Error? Oh, uh, right, you you will have a hard time keeping up. Looks like we're gonna be here a while. One more thing, I want to be absolutely clear. Nothing that is spoken here leaves this room. A confined ship like this is the last place to start a panic in. Right then, time to spill beans. So that night in Asala, when the Hellspawn attacked, Six hours later. That was a lot of exposition. The lone brooder do look doesn't suit you, you know? You have to lower your head and cross your arms. Maybe with a little wind blowing your coat around, you could pull it off. How can you make jokes at a time like this? There's too many offenses to process. Garon, Vanessa, you! And what you did to Emperor Daigo. I need to know where you were, Mia. If Daigo had just told me, I would have left and gone straight for you. But he decided I needed to die so his people could be happy. Sorry, but my life isn't worth the happiness of a bunch of cowards. Even still, there's no denying the fact that Virgil will collapse without an emperor. When that happens, Asala will be the last human settlement still standing. Look at us, talking about murdering emperors and weighing sing single lives against the many. Maybe the world ha has already ended and the rest of us just haven't caught up yet. Mia, how are you holding up? Be honest with me, okay? Don't try the same lines you use on the Earth to keep morale up. I'm so tired, Air. I'm tired of running, tired of fighting, tired of grasping at even a slight shred of hope only to have it crumble away in my hands. Ever since I took charge of the refugees, it's just been one wrong decision after another, each one digging our graves even deeper. I chose to take the long way around to Asala. Not only did the, that mistake make an enemy of Vanessa, but now I learned the revenant I was so afraid of running into turned out to be you. But I can't stop. Not for everything we've been through. Not while there is still so much left to do. I put these people t into the situation, and so it's my responsibility to get them out. And then there's this business of Garon. Even if by some miracle we were able to stop Vanessa and bring these people home, the Fred of the Fog will eventually bury that miracle into the ground. I'll do what I can for as long as I can. I just can't see any way out of this horrible situation. Anyone with a working brain can tell how much you've busted your ass for the refugees. You've done way more than I could have if I were in your shoes. Just don't think you're doing this alone, okay? 
I'm here now, and I promise to be there when things get tough. Will you really join parties? I don't know if this will work out. Thanks, Sarah. I really, I think I feel a little better talking it out. Anytime. Now, it's like getting late, and everyone's already hit a sack, which will probably turn in two. You go on ahead. I'll make one last tr tr uh, trip around the ship to check on our supplies, and head to bed. See you in the morning, Er. Yeah, good night. Are we going to control air now? Nothing good will come from running yourself into the ground like this. But I've got your back, Mia. I hope you know that. Air has left the party. No, I'm still controlling Mia here. Mia, Pal uh, Paladin Amelie, everyone, you all gotta come down here and see this. Oh, what's wrong, Parker? Why are you yelling so early in the morning? I don't know how to explain it. There's this massive blood, a uh, bright... Uh, just hurry up and get down here. Bright? Don't tell me we're being attacked. A warship, maybe. Is it an assault warship? No, it's a, it's a, an area that has not been tainted by fog yet. But can we really bring a revenant here? If we, if Air Key is here, won't, won't he eventually fill his place with fog? Yeah, I don't think we've ever seen the sun before. I can't believe it. The fog is gone. But how? This goes against all the records laid out by every single scholar of the fog. So Daigo, wa the reason he wanted to, to uh, the reason he cut off a solo was because he didn't want anyone else trying to hijack the ship. The ship that was meant for his people. The reason they had so many supplies was because he wanted to evacuate probably every single citizen. And that and we just killed that plan. Am I dreaming? I have to be dreaming. One of you, hurry up and pinch me. In all my time traveling this earth, I've never come across such a breathtaking sight before. Where in the world could we possibly be? Uh, we are still in our own world, right? We didn't suddenly croak up in the middle of the night and wind up in heaven or whatever, right? Right? I can still feel the whips from Virgil's Dungeon Masters. Ain't no way pain like this sick of you after passing on. As luck would have it, life ain't quite done chewing us up and decided to use uh, decided to toss a, a bone. Everything is so clear. Troll can see for miles away. But there's no miasma here. Act, dark shapes are moving through the water. Luke, Air, where are they? Those are called fish. You can catch them and they're really tasty. But wait, if, yeah, if there's no miasma here, Troll won't be able to do much, will she? It won't probably won't be quite as bad as Kioma... Uh, she, I don't know if she can really survive out here. Oh, really? Then Troll will. Can, uh, can Mana swim as long as they're unarmored? Hey, what's that bright orange thing in the sky? Praise the sun! Ow, ow, my eyes! I can't see! Looking directly in the sun. Whoa, hey now, don't look directly in the sun or else you'll... Well, I guess you know now. Sun, you mean that big ball of light you always mention in your stories? I thought you were just making that up. Oh, come on, give me, give me a little credit here. Well, I guess you kids are too young to have seen the world before the fog. Anything I gotta say about it may as well be fantasy. Take a look around, y'all. This ain't no fantasy. Somehow we managed to break out of the fog. This can't be th the end of the journey. Looks like there was something to this place after all. Somehow Virgil found out there was still a safe haven outside the fog and tried to sell it themselves. Unlucky for them, huh? Another ship belongs to us. We'll have the honor of checking out the safe haven for ourselves, right, Mia? Mia? Yeah, it might be better if everyone here just evacuates the safe haven. There's no way we can bring them back to a solo with the current political situation. I'm sure the mainland is in chaos now that Virgio has fallen. We will survive. I won't allow the world to tear us down anymore. The fog, Goran, Vanessa, Asala, and Virgio will endure everything they try to throw away. Too good to be true. There's no way. Uh, the fog will eventually come here. You're only delaying the inevitable. We'll find a way to get rid of the fog, and create a world where everyone can see this beautiful sight. But to get rid of the fog, you'd have to kill Air, who's now a revenant. Glad to see you're finally getting out of that funk. You look better with a smile on your face. Heh, <laughs> well, reality hasn't changed. There's still so much we need to do. At the very least, I feel lighter, like I could just blow up into the sky. Oh, wait, speaking of feeling, did the wind suddenly get colder? Hey, is that... Everyone, I think I see land. Yeah, th we're not out of the clear yet. Land? Are you serious? Holy crap, there's an entire freaking continent outside of the fog. Well, I'll be damned. Looks like that map was right. There was something out here. Let's press on and see what awaits us. We'll be following the usual procedure then. Once we find a suitable camping site, we'll come back and let you know. Are you sure? We don't know what kind of place this is. What if you run into any danger? It's okay. We have enough people in our group now that we'll be fine. Not nearly enough, actually. Remind me why you can't slow down and wait for us to be ready again. We should all be there for you. Thank you, Air, but Chill needs you more than I do right now. It seems she's having trouble adjusting to the lack of fog in this area. 
Sorry, chose burden again. For crying out loud, did I tell you to quit calling yourself a burden for something you have no control over? Sheesh. Besides, a tiny collection like ours ain't gonna come across as hostile to the natives. Last thing we want to do is piss off a nation we know nothing about. Natives, huh? There is a... Is that talk something we set up or something from the natives? Assuming there are natives to talk to, we had skimmed the shoreline for hours, yet could not find a single port town. Admittedly, I'm unfamiliar with human trade routes. However, I would have imagined there would be some sort of establishment on the coast of a continent. A ship as large as the Odyssey is not what I would call it difficult to miss. Surely someone would have seen us approach. Hmm, sounds like we'll just have to announce our presence then. Take care of yourself, okay? Don't forget you're still recovering from torture. As soon as Troll can move around again, we'll haul ass towards you. I know, and that makes me happy. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Woohoo, time to explore uncharted territory. I feel like a real adventurer now. Gotta admit, the adventurer spirit is flaring up in me, too. I'm actually kinda excited to see what we'll find. What is this party? Huh? Oh, oh. Alright, we only got the her team. Anyways, I need to head back to the ship right now and talk to Error. People keep staring at me like they're afraid I'm gonna do something to them. At least they don't know my uh, situation, otherwise they'd probably be chasing me off the ship. I mean, I know I'm attractive as hell, but if they keep gawking at me like this, I may have to start ch charging for the privilege. It's not fair, you get to go on a fuel expedition into unknown territory, pout. Make sure to take lots of notes, okay? I want to know everything! If Troll had power, Troll could sense the people around us. Are we alone? Are we not? Not knowing is scary. Take care of yourself, okay, Mia? Don't get in over your head out there. Huh, my leg? Yeah, it's gotten a lot better since then. Thanks to you, I was able to survive the trip around the world. Now I plan to use the life you saved to help everyone else as best as I can. Yes, Kakuri, yep. So talking to Eric got me her final resolve point, hopefully. No, I have to talk to 50 refugees in total. Or refugee events, rather. We don't really have 50 people traveling with us, but still. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Prayer of the Faithless. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.